Welcome back. This is my second post today. And on this post, I'll be talk talking to you about the overall crypto markets really quickly before diving into Ethereum charts and see what has gone on since yesterday. I'll tell you my today's bullish and bearish case scenario, as well as the short term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't really have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. You're still giving away four free stocks, now instead of three, upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit, and I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future, and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below. I will get to them a lot faster that way. Now, let's see what exactly is going on in the overall crypto markets. First things first, Bitcoin dominance is most important. It tells me where the money is trending. It would it be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither? Currently, we do have Bitcoin dominance at about 63% pretty flat from yesterday and the level I am actually looking for in Bitcoin dominance charts would be on a three day time frame. It is being supported by the three day 21 simple moving average. And if we actually look back for the past couple of candles, it does look like there is bullish behavior on the three day time frame. However, if Bitcoin dominance does actually break that three day 21 simple moving average, it could mean Bitcoin dominance is trading down that falling broadening wedge most apparent on the weekly time frame and that could be uh better trading opportunities for altcoins we're going to see if that comes true or not but that is something i am paying attention to right now so currently uh that is the overall markets valuation currently but we're going to take a look into ethereum right now and see what has changed since yesterday since yesterday on ethereum i have mentioned my bullish and bearish case scenario, which would be uh, where, where the bullish case scenario is that we actually stay above this Fibonacci retracement level and not break down from this double top right here. We have actually stayed intact above that Fib level of about $590. And now it does look like we have an ascending triangle pattern, which is very bullish because price action could have broken down, could have just went down to that neckline of that double top and continue breaking down however that did not do it uh today i will be following through on the bullish case scenario of ethereum so a few things to actually note before i share my bullish and bearish case scenario with you is that we do still have a uh, bullish diver uh, bearish divergence on the rsi however on the daily time frame if we actually make a pretty significant move and beat this uh, RSI reading of about 70, almost 70. Currently, we are at about 65. So it's completely beatable if price action does make a significant move on the daily time frame. Okay, it could be today, it could be tomorrow. Now, on the three day time frame, there is also possible bearish divergence. However, the three day candle does not close until a little over a day. So, not something I'm too concerned with because it is pretty close to beating it. Um, so I'm going to be paying attention mostly to the daily time frame for today. And now, since I have mentioned that the price action chart, um, following to my bullish case scenario on my previous post this week, if we actually do have an ascending triangle pattern here, the breakout percentage will be 63% chance of breaking upwards. You guys can verify that statistics, but if we actually do break upwards, what I'm looking at as the measured targets would be about 760, which is also the 0.5 FIB level. Keep in mind that the measured target may or may not be reached, okay? That is only theory by taking the distance of the opening of the pattern and then adding it back to the expected breakout points, okay? Now there's 63% chance of breaking upwards. That is the bullish case scenario. We break upwards, go towards that target of $760. The flip side would be the bearish case scenario. If we actually do break down from this ascending triangle pattern, which looks 
less likely now, but it's still a possibility is that we actually get a, if we actually break down today, uh, let's get a rough measure target of about possibly $440. Okay, that is the flip side of this ascending triangle pattern. Let's see which one plays out. You know which one I'm leaning towards too. So that is my analysis of Ethereum today. Let me know if you guys found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I would love to hear them. I hope you guys manage your risk carefully. And if you guys would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. I'll see you next time.